Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. This is 2000 Toyota Tundra SR5 four wheel drive and it has a V8 engine. What is the model number of the V8 engine? Huh? Most of you know immediately. 2UZFE. Boom, right? You guys know. So this is famous engine, I talk about it in one of my videos, famous for its reliability. It's missing few parts, I'm doing timing belt on this vehicle. And before speaking about the thermostat, housing, how to open it, how to replace the thermostat, few things I will show you first. Vehicle came first time ever for my garage. And I couldn't put this dipstick in. So I kept pushing on it and I looped this o-ring on it. And then I finally realized somebody damaged that tube. So I will try to fix that for the owner later. And I never can stop myself, especially when that vehicle came first time really quickly look around and write the notes for the owner uh, let's go and see on the other stuff so let's go and look on the other stuff which is Toyota maintenance that's the name of this channel and this what we are filming here and talking about and so on so as you can see throttle body pretty dirty so that's already in comments too for the owner this pipe didn't want to pop off here at the throttle body I couldn't get it off it was stuck so I knew immediately it will be dirty and as you can imagine also the MAF sensor is very dirty I already had it out this power steering reservoir was nasty I already cleaned it around of course look at it you see that black residue Number one, it's a round fluid. Number two, it's heavily contaminated. So again, as I said, that's already in the comments. But the video should be about the thermostat, so let's go and look at that. And thermostat housing, it's right here. So let's go remove it and see what we have inside. Also, what I forgot to mention and you guys demanded, this vehicle has 221,000 miles. It's the first time I see it and it came immediately for the big job. And look, the previous sticker said 120. So this engine on this timing belt was running approximately 100,000 miles without any problems. So this lower radiator hose is held on this fitting and I will guess these are 12 millimeters I don't think it's 10 that will be too small so these nuts I think are 12s let's see uh, did I guess it correctly I think so And there should be one more nut and one more stud somewhere underneath. You don't see it, but don't complain. I don't see it either. Sometimes mechanics have to remove stuff by the feel only. If you can see somewhere as a mechanic, if you work on your cars, it's always good to grab a mirror. Confirm that the nut is perfect, it's not rounded and it will accept that socket. I finally feel that the socket is perfectly positioned on top of that nut, so let's go. Voila, it's out. I forgot to reposition my coolant catching pen, so I briefly stopped the video, not to make too much mess. Here you can hopefully see the whole part, which I will carefully place on the side for myself, so it's not getting in my way. And I will grab the camcorder and show you the thermostat. 
I think it's Toyota. What you experts say before we will remove it. This is basically what I see too. Please note the position of the jiggle valve right here on this engine to use EFE. The jiggle valve is positioned in the upward place. So it's basically on top. On some other engines from Toyota, believe it or not, it will be down here. Part of my timing job on this engine is replacing this thermostat and its gasket with a new unit. I will call that common sense, but I still don't want to damage this unit. So let's carefully, without damaging it, because it's nothing wrong with it, let's pry it out. As you can see, sometimes they are a little bit stuck. I call it, it's like a glued, the rubber gets glued. Here maybe I show you the opening which is there. Right. Here are more details, so that's the one we removed. This is brand new thermostat from Toyota, the number. And the gasket, always remember to buy a gasket because it's not coming in this box. This is how it looks. 82 so this is the new part is it the same like the old one I really can't read this thing but yep here is that wiggle valve jiggle valve wiggle valve jingle bears bimble bears they look actually pretty close. Let's get the gasket out. And now I'm looking at them side by side. I actually can see they are identical. These are the same names printed in those parts. So that was original Toyota thermostat, except it just doesn't say Toyota. Now I put them next to each other. And which one is the new one? Oh my goodness. I don't want to put the old one back, but I'm just kidding. This is the new one, and this is where it will go. Don't forget the jiggle valve, correct orientation. And that's all from me about those thermostats. Hopefully you find it helpful. Now you have the item numbers, so you can order the right one. The price for the gasket, believe it or not, from Toyota, it's almost like eight bucks. It's crazy. And that thermostat is like $30. That's all from me. Thanks for watching and have a great day, my friend.